Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're going to be continuing the series of building this Escape the Blank obby. You know, I'm thinking evil scientist, y'all are thinking principal. It is what it is, okay? But we want to build at least two more stages today and I did delete what I had going on this stage because eh, I didn't like it. So I'm going to figure this out sometime, like how players are going to cross this, but for now, I can move on to the next stage also for now i'm gonna take this roof like it just pretty much make it non-existent so for this video i have a cool stage idea for this one i want to make like oh snap this is a whole thing okay i want to make like edges okay so like this and then one on the other side like so and i just am making these just so it looks like these have a spot to stand or sit uh and i'll move this over a little bit just to kind of give the uh give the the thing okay the thing i don't know what it's called the illusion there we go that it is here so here's our steps and i want to make like a sub floor in here so we would just grab this guy drop it down and move it over just like that and we can make that a lighter shade or darker even probably should go a little darker so darker shade and now i'm gonna have these pipes but they're gonna look like actual pipes instead of neon sciency beam things okay so check this out control d turn rotate turn there we go we got it laying flat and uh we're gonna make it so you actually walk along these pipes just like this we're gonna sink them into the ground and the middle doesn't even need to be on them anymore because I mean, it's just not needed. So get those. And now I got to get the two little, little circles uh, right here and right here. And then we'll have to make this look more like a pipe instead of like a, a glass container thing holding something. So let me get rid of that. Let's grab all of this stuff. We could just grab every piece within here uh, and we'll stop grabbing that piece right there. Transparency. Bro, you got to come back. You're not going to be transparent at all. Reflectance. I don't really think we overly need reflectance either. We could keep like a little bit on there. Uh, these, I think I want like a dark blue, like something like this. This kind of a shade looks pretty good. Or even like this looks all right. So we'll do that. I am going to delete this thing. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, we'll grab this guy from right here. Now, is that good and lined up or is it peeking above? Definitely peeking above. So we got to drop it down one more time. And let's fix this little bit of C-framing as well. There we go. And over here as well. There we go. Now, I'm just going to make this uh, go all the way across real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we finished up the pipes, and it looks just like this. I am going to group everything together just to make sure it's looking nice and, you know, easy to uh, easy to work with later on. I'm going to ungroup everything inside of this. There we go. Rename this to pipes. Perfect, okay? We're, we're trying to stay, like, kind of organized, even though... <sighs> It's not looking great right now, okay? It's not looking great at all, actually. This is a mess. But now I want to go ahead and add some some sort of a decal or something to this floor to make it a bit more eh, sciency, I guess. I was thinking this one or this like carpet looking one, but I don't think the carpet one would like repeat well. So I'm going to use this guy and I will probably change these when Dev for Hire comes out with his new texture pack. I cannot wait to show you guys that thing. It is incredible. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then maybe some sort of particle on the floor just to make it seem like, hey guys, this is kind of deadly. So uh, we could probably use this, this fire, uh, kind of a green, this one. What is this? Is, does it use an, an attachment? Yeah, it does. We're just going to grab this stuff, copy, and paste it into the floor. I mean, it's not bad. I could definitely work on it a bit. All right, so I got it like this now, and that's kind of saying, hey, guys, this is deadly, but green is not the color we're going to want to use. And I think here we could probably go red. Let me just see how it looks. Only the bits are red. Let me go ahead and change the smoke too. Looking real Christmassy out here. Okay, there we go. Red. All right. I think this personally makes sense. Uh, this should probably be a bit over this way though. As like, A, the hop on to the pipes here. And then I can add another one of these right over here. And I might as well, uh, I should probably stretch that. So it comes out to the middle. There we go, guys. Now I could add another one right here, but I don't think that's too important. So this is what we got. Uh, I should probably make it end at the middle too. So let me do that. Perfect. Now we have our pipes with our little red particle. Uh, I, I don't know if that's really screaming, hey, this will kill you, but I'm hoping it does. All right. So just walk on the pipes. You could probably even jump across this. So I might have to put an invisible wall here or something. Now, 
up next that we have our pipes what do we want to do for the next stage we have a little turn as well so what shall i do all right guys so for this stage i copied this one and then edited the shapes a little bit to make this path so instead of like walking on a beam over it which is what you're going to do over here you're going to have to walk kind of around it so like this like this and so on and so forth but how can we emphasize this? I could grab these little potion bottles I've made over here and shrink them down, tip them to their side, and I think it will look pretty cool. So let's go ahead and turn this guy, rotate like so, give it a little bit of one of these, and I'm gonna have to kind of like put it inside this slightly kind of weirdly. I don't know, let's try that. Oh, I can have it kind of hanging off this way. That is uh, kind of cool, I guess, in a weird way, that'll work. Maybe I should go down a little more, something like that, I guess why not and we'll put one more of these uh probably like ooh, we could use this as something you have to jump over as well guys so it could be like hey you better jump over this or you're gonna die that might be kind of cool as well now i do think i'm gonna have to duplicate this kind of shrink it in and let's see te transparency there we go neon and that pink and then shrink this in some and that's gonna give like that illusion that it's it's a bit more spilled you know so it's actually coming out of the bottle uh and then of course we're gonna change this to neon as well there we go so now it has like a more of an illusion that it's being spilled guys that looks pretty sick let's go ahead and do the same to here make that neon duplicate shrink uh, I guess, I guess this one, we did it with the whole other piece of the bottle, <laughs> but it's all right. <laughs> it still gives the good illusion. There we go. It actually looks better than, than the other one, I think. So let me change that. Looks a lot better this way, I think. And then just shrink it to where it's in there. So it gives that like a, yeah, bring this down. All right. I guess that looks all right. I mean, there's a weird little gap thing going on. I don't really know what that's all about. Just cause Roblox glass be weird. Okay. But there it is. You just walk through like this. Boom, I will have to test it, of course. Let me make sure everything is all anchored and good to go. It is now, and let's hop on through. I also need to figure out what kind of beam structure I'm gonna do for that green zone. All right, here we go, guys. We're running amok. All right, these very, very, very easy, which is good. That's what we need. Right here, there will be some sort of uh, balance beam type thing, I think. We'll just see. Then right here, we got this balance beam, which is, uh, yeah, very very easy okay like it, it can't get much easier than that right here you just walk through like this very easy nice jump over this guy and nice hey that's what i'm talking about big moves big progress all we have left to do in today's episode is find out how we want to walk over this what kind of a beam structure should we use all right guys so for this zone i asked for some suggestions on what i should do and someone said hey do spilled potions I was like, bruh, I already did that, but I kind of have a bit of a different idea, so I'm gonna make the, like, contaminant, contain, what are they called? These, these guys, okay? I, like a little barrel, but it'll be yellow and black, and I'm just gonna have, like, a little hole in it, so let me just go ahead and make one of those real quick, uh, knife tool, and we'll just put, like, like, just a random hole, and this is low poly, so, like, it doesn't have to look good like that, <laughs> that wasn't a good way of explaining it at all um yeah since this is low poly you know you don't have to do overly much all right so we're just gonna push this guy back uh probably even a little bit more and we'll make the inside of this that green color so that will be a whole different thing to grab these bottom ones will be green just like that so p and selection and then that will come out as well. So let's grab this guy Go into edit mode, line select. We can grab all of these E to extrude, bring them down some. All right, so something like that. So it looks like it's being spilled. All right, guys, that'll work. Now let's go ahead and export this, color it, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Also, the goal is to jump on top of these. So I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that yet, but we're gonna figure it out. All right, guys, the idea has come to me. So we got these little barrels with the little, uh, little toxic juices spewing out of them. And, uh, we're gonna add, like, beams. So one will be, like, a ramp up, and then there will be a cross. And just, like, really easy, but kind of fun. All right, guys, I just finished it, and it's time to test it out. So let's go ahead and head on over. Boom. Easy, 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 easy. There we go. Got to anchor so much stuff. All right, just finished everything up, <laughs> and uh, it's time to test it out. Boom, these are real easy. They're not kill parts yet, so I can just kind of walk over them. Check it out, guys. We got, like, these things. 
so it's like hey a little balance beam very easy though it's not going to be hard for any players and uh we should be all good and then we have another balance beam right here once again very very easy because hey i've tried making a hard obstacle course uh and didn't work out and then you just have this which is like the easiest one of all you're just kind of walking through this but there we go we have four obstacles done so far guys uh like 800 to go but you know what it's all good got four of them done it's looking pretty good overall check it out one two three and four that is gonna wrap up episode number two of building this uh this obby game thing i still don't really have a, a real name or anything like that but make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later